We're going to talk about packages in UDK. Packages are a collection of assets to be used in your game. And there are a lot of packages available that come with UDK, but you may want to create your own assets, such as a texture, for example, and save it in a unique package. And I'm going to show you how to do that and how to make sure your packages work between different computers and things like that. So I'm going to click on the Content Browser. Under Content in the folder known as Test Packages, you can see that there are packages here. That's what these icons represent, packages. And I can click on a package and see what's in it. And sometimes if everything that's not in a package is, sh if everything that's in a package is not showing up, you can right click it and select fully load and more items will come in. Um, so if you're ever missing something, that's one way you can make sure everything is showing. Now, in creating your own packages, let me go ahead and collapse this test packages. What you would want to do is go to import and I'm going to go to my desktop and import a texture. We'll take this one, open. And the package, let's call the package um, my game. So this would be a package that I would use in my game or my level uh, of my own personal assets that I created. And the grouping is going to represent what folder that you put these items in. So I'm going to call this folder textures. And I'll just leave it the name metal. Um, well, actually, some people like to put texture at the end so you know what it is, but it's up to you what you name it. And I'm going to hit OK to all. And that imports this texture into the My Game package that I just created. Now, let's say that I'm going to take this texture, right click it, create new material. It's it automatically it's basically asking me where I want to put this new material I'm making within my package. It has my package selected by default, my game. And the grouping, I'm going to call this one materials. And we'll just stick with this default name it gave it and hit OK. So now what we effectively have is I have my game package. It has a full and when I click on my game, it shows every asset in there. If I just click on the materials folder, it's just materials. If I just if I click on textures, it's just textures. So that's how you can organize items as you bring them into your game. And when you're finished working with your newly created package, you'll want to right click this asterisk means that it hasn't been saved. If you right click that and select save, and you want to make sure that you save this package somewhere where Unreal knows what it is and knows how to find it. I'm going to navigate there now. I'm going to click on C, UDK. This is my version of UDK. UDK game and content. And you can see that that test packages that we were looking at earlier is here so we know we're in the right spot. And if I scroll down you can see that there are files here with a UPK extension. That's what a package file is. I'm just going to hit save here. The asterisk disappears. Now that we've saved our package there, Unreal knows where to find it. If I were to move this project to a whole different computer, uh, as long as that package was in that same location, it would be able to find it and all the assets inside, such as the texture and material or whatever I brought in, meshes, sound effects, etc. And that's basically how to work with packages.